All right, now I've got my sketch. I've already made little mental notes of what animals might get me there in terms of reference, but now I need to find reference. So I have my different uh, reference folders for my creature collage. I go to images and I'm going to go immediately to tools. So let's start with the head and let's just get kind of a lizard body, a lizard head. All right, I can't just take this. I have to go to tools, size, larger than eight megapixels because this is going to fit within our landscape and we don't want to be limited to making it too small. So this isn't about just looking for a cool lizard head. It's looking for a lizard head that's at the right angle. So this is close. See, there's plenty as long as your search options aren't too narrow. This one kind of works. I'm going to right click and open in new tabs. And I want overlap. I want a head with a neck with a torso. Kind of looking from above a little bit. It's easy to flip horizontally, so I'm not worried about which, which direction it's facing. Okay, so let's say I've got four good options here. You view the image. You always make sure. Ah, you see this is really grainy. So that was a, an ISO that really made a lot of noise. So I don't even want to use that one. Next one, nice color. Looks like it has limited focus. See how the focus pulls right away out. But the color is so cool and the head's in focus, that's worth moving into my head reference. Remember, don't get seduced by these because they're not going to be the same image, limita image size limitations. This one's not very colorful, but color is something that can be worked with. Its legs aren't in the right place, but I don't need that yet. I just need the a head structure to build a snout on. So that's not terrible. Fairly good image quality. And this one, all it would take is rotating it, right? And that looks about, about perfect. Even the anatomy of the, the shoulders and stuff are good. So, trick is, how do I get this? <laughs> I'm going to go through that crazy site. Let's see how large that is. Yeah, that's plenty big. It will print 8.5 by 11.5 by 300 pixels per inch. That's larger than 8 megapixels. All right, so I'm going to move those all into my head options. Now I go back to lizards, and now I'm thinking, okay, the torso, this part, the back of a lizard, and maybe I don't need a lizard anymore. Maybe I want that horned, what we used to call horny toads, I guess are horned lizards. I want to look at that body with its ridges. And I'm going to use that for the, um, the rib cage. Again, larger than 8 megapixels. And I'll go like this through all of my different reference options. Ooh, a scorpion. That could be fun. We get to blend lots of different textures together for this project. That looks good. Again, there's not a lot of color here, but I'll, I can add that in with other textures. That's just creepy looking, but I like it. But I don't want one that's the wrong angle for my the plan I have. So that's, that's cool, but the focus range is too limited. All right. It's 
only focused on that ridge. It's a shame because that would be really nice, all those spikes. You don't want to be limited by focus. So this is what I'm hoping for. Yeah, that's better. The head's a little out of focus, but all of that's perfect. That's for the horned back and the rib cage together. And then this is something I found. That's pretty interesting. It's a little model of maybe a small dinosaur. They're trying to match shapes too. But I, I might want something like this for the snout, but it's not at the right angle, right? But it might give me ideas. So it could be head inspiration. Okay. You can look up more specific terms like crocodile snout, but you might just need to look up crocodile, right? And again, angle is what matters. So that's, that's a decent angle. I don't necessarily want the mouth open though. And I don't need it to be recognizable as a crocodile snout. That's just crazy. This one looks like a good angle. I don't need to worry about the colors. All of that can be worked with. I just want a really distinctive mouth. This one I like. And you can play with upper and lower jaw. All right, so that's how we collect reference. And then we'll be building it together like parts of a car with the next demo. Right now I'm just making sure it's all decent. Yeah, that one's too blurry anyway. Don't stick yourself with bad reference. You will not be happy. That's a good one. I can add a lot of texture to that. This one's already dry. Oh, look at that mouth. That's crazy. That's fun. All right, so enjoy it.